Now here's a problem that we refer to as a herpes infection of the eye. The word herpes in Greek means to creep, and it's because the virus, the multiple forms of the virus, get into the nervous system and creep or follow a particular nerve fiber. Here we see the top right picture that shows significant lesions caused by a herpes simplex lesion. The herpes simplex lesion causes oral herpes. The individual put a contact in her mouth and put it onto the eye itself and the virus caused these significant lesions. Now when the person looks through the cornea, this person will be legally blind because of the scarring. The picture below that is a herpetic ulcer. Remember ulcer means a sore and conjunctivitis caused by the virus infection. The picture to the lower left is probably the most significant and this is a herpes zoster virus which causes chicken pox and the person probably picked a vesicle or a blister on the body where the viruses were present and then put it onto the eye causing significant scarring of the eye itself. Total vision was lost in this particular person. Now once you have the virus in the body, the viruses, whether it's oral herpes or genital herpes or the herpes that cause chicken pox and shingles, they're there for life. Now we think that the herpes zoster virus that causes chicken pox remains in the body for several years and when a person's immune system fails and the body becomes acidic, this virus causes shingles. It goes from the ganglia where the virus lives and migrates down a spinal nerve, leaving a series of blisters, herpetic lesions, along the skin from these infections. Now remember the virus can cause scarring of the cornea and blindness.